Weather from where you live. It is Thursday, but it's not too early, early to start talking about and thinking about the weekend. Right now, the first half of the weekend looks wet. The second half looks dry, but temperatures are going to cool off quite a bit. We were spoiled today. We hit, uh, well, right, right now we're at 48 degrees with the sunshine hitting the courthouse down there. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? With uh, breezy conditions, the wind from the southeast. Wind's going to pick up during the day tomorrow. Hang on to your hats. But 43 right now at Frankfurt, 41 at Kokomo, a little bit cooler at Peru with uh, 42. And Hoopston, Illinois reporting in with 45 degrees. Here are the numbers from today. 49 the high. Typically we're at about 43 for a high temperature and right on target as far as low temperatures go. We started the day off at 28. That's pretty normal for this time of year. You can see uh, just a few uh, scattered showers out here in uh, eastern Iowa, western parts of Illinois. A little break in the clouds. That's what we're seeing now with the sunshine poking through. But uh, over the course of uh, the next couple of days we're going to see those clouds thicken and bring us the chance for rain showers. Here's some temperatures from around the region, a little bit warmer down to the south, as you would expect, a little cooler. Cedar Rapids has 44 right now. So uh, we'll continue to monitor what's going to happen right here in the nation's midsection as we see the, these clouds increase and this storm system will move in here by Friday night and Saturday as well. That's going to put a burden on the Wabash River, which is currently under a flood warning. Right now, the Wabash River level is at 14 feet, and it's expected to be back up on the rise by a Monday afternoon. Could come in at around 16 or 17 feet as we expect these rain showers to move in. So as we go throughout the day here on precision cast during the day tomorrow, we'll see some rain showers around, but I think the better chance for rain arrives Friday night, that is tomorrow night into Saturday. Then you'll see we'll have a line of thunderstorms move through. Doesn't look like right now those thunderstorms will be severe, but certainly uh, any rain that we get from those thunderstorms will once again uh, begin to put a uh, another burden on the Wabash River, so we'll have to keep an eye on those rainfall tallies. And then back behind it, this is what we're expecting then for the latter part of the weekend. A few clouds early Sunday, maybe some sunshine to end the day on Sunday, but temperatures will cool off as this is a cold front. So here's the forecast for the rest of tonight. We'll see some scattered showers around, a low temperature, still mild for this time of year, a uh, low temperature down around 40 degrees. The wind will pick up during the day tomorrow as we'll see an increased chance for rain showers, and it looks like uh, some thunderstorms then by tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow evening. Check out the high temperature, though. 55 degrees. You can't complain about that, but it will feel a little bit cooler than that because the wind is going to be blowing so hard. And then you can see we do have a chance uh, for some of those. Uh, we certainly have a chance for some warmer temperatures then for the weekend. I got to update that outlook there. I still had us in. <laughs> I still had us in the winter there for that outlook. So ignore that. Call a penalty on me there. You're fine. We'll, we'll get that ready for the six o'clock. All right. All right Good work, Thank Thanks. Uh, well, if you.